So I'm out here with the Hohem Ice Daddy X. I'm going to be walking with it, running with it. This is unlevel ground, just to see how smooth it is. As I said, this is unlevel ground. Just see how steady the video is. As a test of it and we do a test of me just walking so this is me just walking normally no ninja moves as they say so to go into underslung mode I'm gonna restart recording left press of the button to turn it over Draw the target again. Yeah, if you go too quickly, there you go. Just lost the tracking now. So this is a test without the lavalier mic. Just using the phone's mic. the zoom on it using the app itself it's got the lavalier mic in at the moment so that's a sound test with the lavalier mic 
so you can see the difference between the microphone on the phone itself compared to this so this is how it comes packaged in this box here it's your gimbal you get a tripod mount with a quarter inch fitting so you can use a normal tripod it's pretty handy for when you're tracking things face recognition it's going to follow you around you get your charging cable USB to USB-C got a wrist strap there for the gimbal and a carry pouch Let's look at the size of this it's very small though. it's the size of my hand it only weighs 259 grams and it can carry up to 280 grams that's pretty good get a booklet instruction booklet here I've also got this Blitzwolf CM1 Mini mic to try a lavalier mic. Always recommend getting one of these. Improves the sound. It's night and day between using one of these and using the mic on your phone. So well worth getting one of these. So it comes in a leather pouch. The mic itself. It's omnidirectional. Great thing about this mic is it's got four poles, so four segments. So if I plug this into the iPhone, if you have the three and a half millimeter jack, it knows it's a mic. If it had the just three poles, then you'd have to have an adapter for this to see it as a mic. So that's quite good. The thickness of the wire is good. So that's quite well made. The clip is nice and strong metal clip also get this adapter for USB-C so you can plug in the mic itself and headphones so you you can listen while you're recording through the mic itself so I will be using this mic with my phone so I'll show an example we will hear an example of using a lavalier mic compared to using the phone's mic. Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick startup guide. I'm not gonna go too much into the settings. If you want me to do that, then I'll do another video. Just leave a comment below. So to get started, what I've done here is attach the mini tripod and make sure the axis on the gimbal are all unlocked because they can be locked into place to use as a selfie stick, like so for when traveling with it so you just make sure they're spinning freely so you've got the axis there and this axis here and put this bracket back make sure this knob here is tight then you'll need to balance your phone in the gimbal itself there's an arrow there to show the camera should be to the left so with this phone obviously I've just gone straight to the middle and it's pretty much balanced out now. The next stage would be to download the Hohen Pro app on your phone by scanning the QR code on the box. For me it was here iOS. I think these are Android but they're in Chinese so I'm not sure. So once you've activated the account with email and password and turned on your Bluetooth and paired these you can switch the gimbal on, just a long press of the right button, see it's stabilised now, and go into your app, so there's your Hohem Pro, tap on that, hit start, and we're in, it's going to be a quick start so I'm not going to go too much into the settings, but on the right hand side you can slide up and down we've got slow motion, time lapse, photo, video the coolest feature on this along with the gimbal itself is the different shooting modes which are pre-programmed modes the gimbal will do the rotation for you, make you look cool so Inception fantastic 
rotation, panoramic, smart motion time lapse, dolly zoom is pretty cool, dynamic, and lucky. To come out of that again. To come out of that. You've got your we're in video mode at the moment. You've got hand gesture filters as your settings. So you probably just go into settings and then just change your resolution for your pictures and video. So depending on your phone, you've got 24 frames per second as well for slow motion. That's pretty cool. That's 720p, 1080p, so your frames per second, 4K, right up to 4K, 30 frames per second. So yeah, you set your video pictures and then you're pretty much ready to go. So if I want to take a video now, just one click of the left button and it's going to start to take video. Click it again to stop. If I want to change the pictures, click that twice. You can see it's just changed the photo. Press it. It's just taking a picture. Go back to video, press it twice. So the edge will stick up and down, right and left. And you've got your slider on the side here to zoom in and out. You can also change that to focus as well, just by clicking onto here. So you can focus in and out if you want to. And leave it on zoom. So that's your settings. This is just a quick start guide. If you want me to go into the settings in more depth, just leave a comment. I'll, I can do that. Okay, so another neat feature of this gimbal is it can do face tracking and object tracking. So to get into face tracking, you just hit this icon here in the top one. Like so this face tracking is ready to go. If you're in front of the camera, it's going to follow you around the room. You put it on its tripod, put it on a bigger tripod. A handy feature but for me I'm looking at this one object tracking so maybe see how well it can track an RC car how fast it can go without it, it losing it I don't expect it to go crazy but let's just try it out let's just put this see here so once you've got your object draw a square around it and Move it around. Yeah, nice. It's doing a good job. There you go. So that's another neat feature. Also with this, if you want to reset the gimbal to center, just press it twice on the right button and it will reset itself. And it has the underslung, so you just turn it upside down and it's ready to go. Auto rotates the phone for the low down shots. Now you can go into a normal tripod. The size makes it really portable. And yeah, let's see what it can do.